Good afternoon YouTube. This is Johnny. Make a video. Today is May the 26th, 2023. It is 1.42 in the afternoon. I just got home from the book nook. Well, Carol showed up at 1 o'clock to do her shift from 1 to 3. I came home, ate lunch, and I wrote in my paper diary. I'm always writing because I'm a writer. I'm on page 444 for the year 2023. Book Nook was somewhat busy, but I wandered a lot, looked at all the books, looked at all the DVDs, the CDs. But I, I've been reading at the Book Nook, uh, as I mentioned, Jonathan Latham, The Fortress of Solitude. So I read that when I'm at the book nook. I got in the mail today when I go home I, in the mailbox. I told you I had a couple of things by Martin Amos, who recently died, a very prominent British writer. And I ordered two used things by Martin Amos, and one of them came in the mail. I got Dead Babies. I, I think that was the novel after... I've been reading the Rachel Papers, which was his first novel, Martin Amos. And then I think he wrote Dead Babies afterwards. So uh, I didn't have it in my Martin Amos collection, so I bought it. So in this video, I mentioned that um, my wife and I were going to go to a use, well, I said Freeport in my last video, and but I meant Freeport. Fruitport, which is south of us, past Grand Haven, and Freeport, we've never been to Freeport, but the Freeport District Library had a used book sale, library used book sale. And my wife, since we're, we're going to Freeport, she could stop on the way home to visit her aunt, who is fading so we went to Freeport District Public Library used book sale and it was, I bought a fair number of books and I thought I would show them to you. Now most of these books, you'll, if you know watching my videos over the last seven, eight years, that I have a certain literary taste, things that I'm attracted to as a lover of literature, of books. So this tape, this V, this video will not last long because this camera that I film on shuts off about 23 minutes. First thing I grabbed at the Fruitport District Library used book sale was Cossack, The, Sec the Secret of the White Army Treasure by Nicholas Savine. And this was translated from the French by Len Leonard Mayhew. And uh, it, I'm not sure if it's a nonfiction or it's a memoir, but uh, so uh, I won't go into describing the book. I just, I was talking to my wife the other day about the white Russian, the white Russians, the white army there in Russia, and that's why I grabbed it. Also, I grabbed The Forties, A Story of a Decade, The New Yorker. This is like an anthology of material taken from the New Yorker magazine in the 40s. I have the one on the 60s. They did one on the 50s. Uh, they did a couple of these, like anthologies. And as you know, I'm a collector of material from the New Yorker, writers, illustrators, Anybody who wrote or worked for the New Yorker, memoirs, letters. And then I picked up, um, this I found and I never heard, well, this is Ann Stevenson, she's a poet. And this is a, a, a group of essays, selected essays between the iceberg and the ship by Ann Stevenson. I found out when I was cataloging this that I, she wrote a biography on 
Sylvia Plath, which I have in my library. And then, uh, as you all know, I collect Europia editions. And this was at the uh, Freeport used book sale. This is by Eric Emmanuel Schmidt, the, car the Carousel, Carousel of Desire. Carousel of Desire. This is Fran translated from the French by Howard Curtis and Catherine Grieger. I collect these Europia editions. This is, I'm not sure, it's like an auto memoir fiction by Sam Shepard, the actor and playwright. Uh, the One Inside Forward by Patti Smith. And uh, it looked interesting, so I picked it up. It's like a memoir fiction kind of uh, book. And Patti Smith was friends with Sam Shepard for many, many years. This is a biography on Patrick L Lynn or Lynn Fimmore, Fimmore, in a, an adventure, The Adventurer by Artemis, Artemis Cooper. He was, uh, I have, uh, the New York Review books has, he was, he wrote travel books. He traveled all over the world, Greece, South Sea Islands. Uh, he, and I read, uh, there's a series of three travel books that he wrote about going through Eastern Europe. You know, he tr left from England and he, he basically hitchhiked and walked across Europe, Eastern Europe, down into Greece. And he wrote about it. But I was remembering yesterday, he wrote about the, those uh, trips when he was quite old. But anyway, they're very enjoyable. And this is a biography on him. Patrick Lee Fillmore, an adventurer by Artemis, Artemis Miss Cooper. I had this in my library, but I couldn't find it. This is Tobias Smollett by Humphrey Clinker. This is a very famous 18th century novel. This is uh, from the Vintage Contemporaries. I collect these. This is History of Luminous Motion by Scott Bradfield. Scott Bradfield has a YouTube channel that I watch. He's a writer. He's taught writing. I, I, I watch his videos. Scott Bradfield, he, this is one of his earlier novels. This one came out in 1989. This is a novel by Dana Spadota, who I collect. I read her novel, Stone Arabia, which I really enjoyed. So I've been collecting her novels. This is Innocence and Others, a novel by Dana Spadota. I really enjoyed her novel, Stone Arabia. This is a Israeli writer that I collect. This is uh, Aaron Applefield. And this is The Man Who Never Stops Sleeping, a novel by Aaron Applefield. And this is translated out of the Hebrew by Jeffrey M. Green. Yeah, I collect his novels. I haven't read any yet, but he's considered, he gets great reviews and high recommendations from people who love literature. There's a picture of him. This one came out in, this translation, copymark 2017. Uh, I don't know when this exactly was written. Uh, see, it says 2010. Anyway, I collect his writings. I also collect the writings of Rachel Husk or Husk. This is transient. Uh, I collect her writings. I haven't read her, but 
This is part of a trilogy of novels she did in I Collect Her. Yeah, I look for things at used book sales that I collect. Uh, I don't, I try to stay in certain writers and certain things I'm interested in. I also picked up David Lodge's Small World. I have a huge stack of David Lodge's novels and I wasn't sure if I had this one, but I did. But this is a hardback. Mine was a paperback. He's a British writer. I uh, highly is highly regarded and so I picked them up. Then I found this book at the Fruitville, Fruitport District Public Library used book sale. The Thoreau, you don't know what the prophet of environmentalism really meant. This is like a biography by Robert Sullivan. I have a huge Henry David Thoreau collection. You know, I was reminded in reading this last night, he died when he was 44. And he died quite young. So I picked up another thing from my Thoreau, Henry David Thoreau collection. Uh, I have a Thomas Merton, the Sertertian Monk collection. He was a writer, poet, social activist. He died by electrocution. It was an accident when he was at a conference in Bangkok. Uh, this is a biography of him by M. Basil Pennington, who is another Sertertian monk. Thomas Merton, brother monk, the quest for true freedom. This is for my Thomas Merton collection. And this is a, a travel book by Mark Twain. This is published by the National Geographic. This is their adventure series. I had this in hardback, but I just picked it up. Following the Equator by Mark Twain. Picked this up at the Freeport, Fruit Port, not Freeport, Fruit Port District Public Library used book sale. Sam Phillips the Man Who invented, invented Rock and Roll, How One Man Discovered Howling Wolf, Ike Turner, Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, Elvis Presley, and how this tiny label, Sun Records of Memphis, revolutionized the world by Peter Kullerick. Yeah, I collect books on music and uh, I've known about Sam Records. Uh, so uh, he wrote a book on called The Last Train to Memphis, which is on the life of Elvis Presley, if I remember correctly. So this is from my music collection. Then I picked up Ghost Hunters, William James, the Search for Scientific Proof of Life After Death by Deborah Bloom. Uh, I collect books on William James, the philosopher, uh, pragmatism. He wrote uh, all kinds of stuff and his brother was Henry James, the very famous writer. But I picked this up from my Henry, my William James collection. This is a, in the Penguin Classics by William Tyndale, the English Reformation, the obedience of the obedience of a Christian man. Yeah, I collect these Penguin Classics, and I didn't have this William Tyndale, the obedience of a Christian man. Then I picked up another Penguin Classic, a Celtic Miscellany. Uh, Translations from Celtic Literature by Kenneth Hurlstone Jackson. This is a biography on Mrs. Adams. I think this is the wife of John Quincy Adams. And um, 
This is a biography on, on her. Louisa, The Extraordinary Life, Extraordinary Life of Mrs. Adams by Louisa Thomas. I collect books on the President John Adams and John Quincy Adams, their life, their writings, their letters, uh, biographies on their wives. I think the wife of Abigail, the wife of John Adams is Abigail Adams and Louisa Adams was the wife of John Quincy Adams. So I got this from my John in John Adams and John Quincy Adams collection. Then I picked up Sticky Fingers, The Life and Times of Jan, Jan Wiener in the Rolling Stones magazine by Joe Hangen. This is a biography on the founder of Rolling Stones magazine, uh, Jan Wiener with John Wiener. Then this is a book on Vivian Mailer or Myler, a photographer's life and afterlife. If I see any book on photography or photographers, I I get this and I um, this she was a photographer that really was discovered after she died. <laughs> she was a nanny for many years. And she would go out and take photos when she lived in New York and maybe other places, France. And she accumulated a huge thousands and thousands and thousands of photos and undeveloped film. And she had this storage locker. And then she died and the storage locker didn't, wasn't being paid for. And then, of course, the contents of the storage locker was put up for sale. And then she was discovered to be this very great photographer after she had died. Yeah, it's always fascinated me, her story, being a nanny and being a, she was a photographer, a really artistic person and lived a very quiet, re recluse life and accumulated this vast trove of photography that no one saw until now and now she's very famous. On the way home, we stopped in Grand Haven. We went to Cheap Stacks, which is a Grand Haven public library used bookstore. And I picked up a novel by Union Atlantic by Adam Hazlitt. I read his short stories a couple of years ago. I really enjoyed them. Didn't know he had a novel, and so I bought this. Also, this is a novel by called The Driftless Zone. A novel concerning selective out migration from small cities by Rick Harsh. Harsh. He also has a YouTube channel. He is. He's written. I have other another novel by him. He publishes experimental literature. He lives in Sylvania. He's on YouTube. This is his first novel. I found at the uh, Cheap Stacks. So that's it. Those are the books. It's been 18 minutes. This thing, I'm never sure when it's going to shut down. So I kind of rush through these vi these books. I could talk about each one individually. I could talk about Thomas Merton for hours. I have a huge Thoreau collection. I could show you all my books by David Lodge. Uh, I have the collect. I have the works of Mark Twain, which I showed a couple of months ago. I bought from the book nook the, the complete set of the writings of Mark Twain. And uh, it just goes on and on. There's no end to books and to buying books and collecting books and reading and writing and just immersing yourself in these worlds. <laughs> so this is a Friday. I have nothing planned this weekend. I mowed the lawn the other day. I'm just going to read and write and drift. I think today our oldest son who lives down the street is going to drop off their dog Ollie for us to babysit. They're going to go away for Memorial Weekend at family camp and uh, 
I'm not really into observing any national holy days. I'm not really into anything. But I have enough to read. The reason why I made this video right now, this is Friday Reads, so I can put these down in the lower level. <laughs> I don't want them stacked up by my, my reading chair in the living room. But I enjoyed the book sale. Hope you have a good reading weekend. Hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the comments. Uh, if you got any questions about these books or anything you want to know, feel free to ask me. And I'll sign off. And until next time, bye.